searching like this is the best way. Diner haunted. Evil spirit breaks into restaurant and eats double its body weight in food. Oh, do you think Tail did this? Seems like his style. Sounds like a very hungry criminal came up with a very poor excuse. What about this one? Uh, paranormal activity reported at exclusive horror immersia. Guests experience haunting within seven days of screening. It reminds me of when I used to watch horror immersia to train my courage. Whenever there was a suspenseful moment, Tail would jump up and scare me. Guys, I feel like this is just some sort of prank. Or a marketing stunt to boost ticket sales. Wahua has been browsing Ghostly Grove for hours. Every time she finds a suspicious incident, she says, Do you think Tail did this? Problem is, any suspicious incident could be Tail related when you think about it. I feel like Tail is still around. Oh, but if so, why didn't he come back to see me? He was your Tail for so many years. I'm sure he'd come back to say hi. Or. Bye. Anyway, even if you don't find Tail, you're still a great judge. The success of our ghost hunting squad proves it. I, uh, thank you, Miss Gway. I, I don't really get compliments. Without the encouragement of you squad members, I... <clears throat> Working with you guys has made me feel a little more confident. Oh, but it's hard not to think about the days when Tail was still around. Back then, I was a useless coward. I'd hide at the first sign of trouble. Tail would always complain about it. But he'd also get me out of danger. Hmm. <laughs> Reminds me of me and my brother. Sort of a love-hate relationship. Hey! Look at this! Did you find Tail? Tail would do? Tail or no tail, it's definitely the work of a Heliobus. Let's hurry up and get to the scene. There'll be trouble to pay if we're too late. Be careful, everyone. This sounds like a very aggressive Heliobus. Hey, calm down. I just learned a new technique. I'll use it to end your life. Unauthorized personnel should keep their distance. It's dangerous here. Actually, we're not really unauthorized, are we, Judge? Is that Sushong? And a judge? Why are the Ten Lords Commission here? It's a very long story, so let's deal with the problem at hand first. Mr. Cloud Knight, sir, the Ten Lords Commission will handle this. Thank you for your cooperation. Understood. Please, take mercy on him. Don't worry. This sort of thing is our specialty. Judge Hua Hua, is he all right? His life isn't in danger, but his hands and feet are spasming, and his speech is incoherent. I think he's experiencing a delusion that he can't snap out of. I feel like I've been drained of my strength. Mr. Cloud Knight, sir, are you okay? Can you answer a few questions for me? Do you remember what happened to you? I... I think so. Let me think for a moment. Oh. I received a report today about... an infestation of abominations here at the Alchemy Commission. The, the captain sent me to clear it out. What happened after that was... 
Like a dream? I, I can't explain it. My weapon suddenly started talking to me? It, it taught me fighting techniques, which moves to avoid, which moves to use, which stances to adopt to retain balance. Then it told me to relax and let it take control against the enemy. That sounds just like a Heliopus. I, I followed its instructions. To my surprise, it felt like my combat skills had greatly improved. <laughs> Still, it told me I was incompetent, like a piece of rotten wood. <sighs> it wanted to find a new apprentice to carry forward the art. It was only then that I realized there was a sword-wielding child beside me, staring right at me. Lots of children grow up learning to use a sword on the Lafu, but for a child to be walking around with one... I sure hope we're not thinking of the same person. I realized the boy was the general's retainer, Yin Xing. <sighs> I knew it! When I heard my sword say the name, I was in disbelief. And then, for some reason, I just attacked Yinxing. Are you all right? You should be asking the Cloud Knight. What happened next was even more outlandish. Yinxing looked like he was talking to the sword in his hand. He turned around and left without looking back. And my weapon? My weapon never spoke again. Not good. I'll take care of the Cloud Knight. You go after Yin Ching. It's Yin Ching's sword. I saw him wield it one time when I was doing drills with the Cloud Knights. I heard that Yan Ching's sword is a famous weapon crafted by the Artisanship Commission. It resonates with its master, reacting to his movements in battle like it has a mind of its own. He must have encountered some kind of danger, and his sword flew away to find someone to help, right? Uh, danger? Miss Shang, don't scare me like that! What kind of evil would be strong enough to pose a threat to Yan Ching? I'm not sure, but the Heliobi are strange creatures. Even the sharpest sword can't cut them. Uh-oh. I just had a thought. If it's not auspicious, you'd best not say it out loud. Based on what that Cloud Knight said, it isn't that Yen Ching's in danger. Exactly. Follow the sword. No matter what, we have to find Yen Ching before things get even worse. This is the dock for Dragon Prayer Terrace. Judging by the sword's behavior, that's where Yen Ching is. Should we really be charging over there? Even without a Heliobus, Yan Ching is a swords master among swords masters. Uh, are... are you scared, Sushong? Me too. Compared to the other Heliobi we've dealt with so far, this one seems like it could do some serious damage. Scared? <laughs> My mother taught me swordplay as soon as I could walk. I might not be as good as the General's Apprentice, but I would never let cowardice dishonor the name of the Cloud Knights or the Family Sword. But I am... worried. If the Heliobus possessing Yenchim is too strong, I'm afraid I might not be able to guarantee everyone's safety. The General has been supporting our ghost hunting squad from the very beginning. It's time to return the favor. Even if it wasn't for the general's sake, as a judge, I can't let a Heliobus take over someone as dangerous as Yan Ching! Su Shang, Miss Gui, Mr. Trailblazer, please help me rescue him! What are 
all these swords doing in Dragon Prayer Terrace? It must be a Heliobus illusion. Shouldn't we ring the harmonic chime and see if we can talk to Yen Ching inside the illusion? Illusion? <laughs> Since each of you can see it, wouldn't that mean you'd fallen into the illusion as well? <laughs> Don't be alarmed. To me, this sword formation is a precious arsenal. When I gaze upon any one, a thousand sword fights dance before my eyes. The sword play far exceeding anything I have learned. And better yet, they welcome those who wish to pursue higher realms with open arms. I know that this is an illusion created by a Heliobus. The General sent me to assist the Ten Lords Commission. I know a thing or two about your work. These cosmic flames are not good, nor evil. They are simply a mirror. As long as a host's mind is clear, a Heliobus cannot control them. Take me, for example. At this moment, I am free of all distractions. And I see the potential for greatness in these swords. Isn't that right, Master Apyra? Apyra? That Heliobus's name is Apyra? Correct. Master Apyra promised to show me the flaws in my swordplay and how to take it to the next level. That's why I brought them to Dragon Prayer Terrace, where I suffered my most serious setback. Young one, with me, everything will be different. Whether it be in Bibit or Lune, the Stellaron Hunters, or that woman, your accomplishments will exceed them. You will be matchless, without limits. Matchless without limits. <sighs> You're just in time. The swords have taught me something already. I'd like to see how sharp my skills have become. My skills are lacking. I've been through countless defeats. But with the Pyra as my master, no longer. Why is he attacking us? Don't mess with me. The sword fight must be fought with sincerity of heart and mind. Give it your all! Lieutenant Yan Ching, snap out of it! We don't want to fight you! But I want to fight you! And we're just getting started. Cut through the rings! Their skills are nothing compared to mine. What can I learn from any of them? Then... Why not hack them down right here? Hack them down? I thought we were just sparring. The laws of the battlefield are no different from the laws of the universe. Life for victory. And death for defeat. Swordsmanship is the art of victory. And only the victorious swords can be passed on. Swords defeated are buried among the barren wastelands. But... You're... resisting me? Rid yourself of these needless notions of clemency. How can you move forward without casting these distractions aside? Raise your sword. <laughs> Life for victory and death for defeat, huh? 
All this talk of laws of the battlefield and the universe. You think that gives the appearance of a grandmaster? You're just using someone else's ambition to satisfy your own desire to shed blood. This Xuan Yuan sword in my hand has been passed down through my family for generations. When my mother gave it to me, she said, the bread may bake, but the heart remains. And for a long time, I had no idea what she was talking about. Today, I just realized I misheard her. I think she actually said, the edge may break, but the heart remains. Probably. The Lieutenant Yinqing, the winner and loser of this battle, have yet to be determined. Don't give me that there's no point in fighting any longer speech. <laughs> this little wench's fighting spirit is on fire. Young one, since she insists on fighting, will you give her her answer? I... I won't back down! Mr. Shang, you... This is between fellow Cloud Knights. Losing a fight isn't a big deal, but if I abandon my fellow soldiers and bring dishonor to the Knights, how could I wield my sword again? Granted, I might not last more than a few moves. You guys go get the General, quickly! I'll try and hold him off until he gets here. Su Zhang, my bestie. Why is she so stubborn? Still, that was pretty freaking cool. The spirit bearer told me that the general is still in Fictional Garden. Let's hurry. I think the only one that can break Yan Qing's illusion is Jing Yan himself. Huh. Is something the matter? You seem out of breath. Hmm. A heliobus that creates illusions for the sole purpose of instructing someone in swordplay. <laughs> I wouldn't mind learning a few tricks from them myself. Unfortunately, it sounds like this one is a little too aggressive to be a decent sparring partner. This is not an adversary that someone as young as Yan Qing is equipped to deal with. General, we need to move fast. If we wait any longer, I'm afraid that Su Xiong might be... I can understand your sense of urgency. But before I leave, I have a question for Cirrus, who has been listening this whole time. I trust you are familiar with the Pyra. Naturally. Among the Heliobi, Pyra manifests the courage and warring spirit of Ignamar. They are the most aggressive of all the fragments. But who is this swordmaster? Who is Yin Qing? My apprentice. <laughs> oh, no wonder I smell a hint of sadness in you. In order to rescue his incompetent apprentice, the master must fight on the battlefield himself. I must say, I'm very envious of Apira. You know the flavor of sadness, but not its meaning. An apprentice obsessed with victory and defeat has lost his mind to a heliobus and is now trying to shortcut his way to mastery of the sword. This is my failure to him as a master. And the source of grief you see in me now. <laughs> then you should hurry. Pyra has an insatiable bloodlust. Once they've enslaved your mind, they can make you turn against your friends, your kin, even your own master. <laughs> Go! I don't wish to delay your death match with your apprentice. Lieutenant of the Seed of Divine Foresight. Is that the best you can do? And I was thinking I'd be done for the moment you drew your sword. I didn't think... I didn't think I would last this long. I... I'm not half as bad as I thought. Young one, you're hesitating again. 
You're always hesitating. Your opponent is no match for you. Yet they have managed to fend you off for this long. As a swordsman have you not any pride. Do you want to repeat the disaster you suffered at Dragon Prayer Terrace? It's time to finish it. Only blood can cleanse the shame of the sword. He won't do it. General. Young one, your old teacher has arrived. Under his tutelage, you never experienced true failure. But after suffering your first major setback, your confidence in your swordsmanship has been... faltering. You worry that the General is disappointed in you. You worry that you don't have what it takes to be the person the General wants you to be. Now, show him what I have taught you. He'll be very proud of your progress. Tell him that with your sword, you will bring victory to the Sienjo. With... with my sword. Yan Ching would never draw his sword on me to prove himself. I have confidence in him. This confidence is not a belief that he will win every contest. It is a belief that he will one day break free from the paradigm of victory and defeat and realize his true reason for wielding the sword. The pleasure of swordsmanship, the saving of life, and the dispatchment of enemies. This truth must be discovered by himself. No one can teach it to him. Now is the time for him to take that step. General, I... Break free from victory and defeat? Those are just empty words to comfort the dead and the defeated. Think of your crushing defeat at Dragon Prayer Terrace. Think of how you felt then, teetering on the brink of death. If the sword of that Stellaron Hunter had pierced your flesh, you wouldn't be standing here pondering the meaning of victory and defeat. Now is the time to break all your chains. Draw your sword on your master, to the general who is trying to imprison you. Draw your sword! General, allow me to demonstrate my swordsmanship. I hereby challenge you. Apira, I challenge these swords to battle! Young fool, how disappointing. Your accomplishments would have been limitless. But you were led astray by empty idealism. None of that matters anymore. While teaching you, I studied your every move inside out. And now you wish to throw down the gauntlet. Very well. In your own image, and with your own techniques, I will teach you one final lesson. Your sword Don't play me, every stroke and sway. I will let it all to memory. Now, allow me to demonstrate. With merciless intent, how powerful I am. No, 
Yang Ching. Conceal your form and hide your intentions. Don't fall for their distractions. Understood. One hit, one stroke of luck, one victory. <laughs> Impressive. I am bested. Phew, it's about time we got this guy into the gourd. I know what you wish to say, Yang Ching. We can move past the melodrama. <laughs> then, uh, to the rest of you, thank you for bringing me out of that daze. Especially you, Miss Sushang. Why does everyone that gets Helio Bust love to apologize for it? You're the victim here. They're the ones stirring up chaos. It should be me thanking you for holding back during our battle. Or maybe, just maybe, it's due to a sudden skill improvement? Uh, don't you think? Haha, <laughs> right. Conscious Xuxiang is pretty badass. We're gonna need to get you a front page news story for this one. Heck, let's get some billboards! So, you've made it your daily mission to tease me, huh? With respect to this incident, what is your plan for posting on the Law Fu's ghostly grove? Since it concerns the seat of divine foresight, I am hoping you could. Well, about that. Let me discuss it with him first. Is everyone okay with this? Thanks for covering for me. I'm so embarrassed. All's well that ends well. We should hurry back and lock a Pyra in the evil binding matrix. They're a dangerous one. I'm afraid they might escape. Well then, Yen Ching and I will take our leave now. All right, let's get out of here. Risk, Miss Sushang. Actually, I'm well aware of my own limits. If it weren't for Yanqing resisting that Heliobus, maybe I wouldn't have been able to hold on until you brought reinforcements. Come to think of it, we only needed one person to fetch reinforcements. Why didn't we get him to stay behind with you? And why didn't you ask? <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but I was caught up in the moment. I guess I never thought it through. Ugh. Sometimes I wonder whether your head's screwed on right. We need to take you to the Alchemy Commission for a checkup. Maybe, but my actions kept everyone safe, and that's what matters. Miss Ho Ha needed someone to look out for her, and Little Quay's just a civilian. You shouldn't be putting yourself in risky situations. As for him, he's a distinguished guest of the Seat of Divine Foresight. If anything were to happen to him, it could turn into a diplomatic crisis. After weighing things up in my head, it made the most sense for only me to stay put. <sighs> If I still had my tail, I wouldn't be slowing everyone down. Sorry, Hoha. I, I didn't think it through. You were never a burden. It's not your fault, Miss Sushong. It's just... I've been wondering... 
like me keep up with the affairs of the Ten Lords Commission without my tail. <sighs> Forget it. We should get some rest. There could be even bigger dangers waiting for us tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>